folks, welcome to Helen Roscoe Yoga on YouTube. In this short practice today, we're going to have a little look at transitioning from an all fours position into a downward facing dog. So make sure that you have some padding either for your wrists or your knees, depending on the level of comfort that you need. And we'll just start with a little bit of movement through the wrists to get those warmed up. I'm also going to record this as a supported practice using a chair so if you would like to practice that with me then I would recommend going over and exploring the chair version as well. Okay, a little bit of activation through the wrists, circling, lengthening, get those arms used to being in that kind of strong position maybe up as well towards the sky Okay, so when you're ready, just coming on to an all fours position. And we want to be in a position whereby our wrists are in line with our shoulders and our knees are in line with our hips. So if you experience any wrist discomfort here, you might like to just take the wrists a little bit further ahead. Just lightly drawing the navel in through towards the spine. Your knees are parallel and they're in line with your hips, roughly. So we're looking at a tabletop position. The crown of your head is pressing forwards. Imagine you're in like a bit of a box here. So your bottom is on one side and your crown of head is on the other and you're eking out that length along your spine between those two edges. So pushing those boundaries away. When you feel supported in this position, I'd like you to stretch your left leg out behind you and take a few moments to lengthen into that back heel. You could even pulse a little as you exhale towards the ground and then release as you inhale. Just check that you're not tipping your body weight over to the right hand side. So you might like to take that left leg a little wider if you notice yourself doing that. Just sense that your pelvis is aligned with your spine. Okay, and then swapping over. Take the other foot back, a moment to explore the stretch and then release away on the breath in. Move the heel back on the breath out. And as you do this, you could always lightly engage through your abdomen towards the spine. Few more rounds in that way. And then bring the knee down. You could come away from your wrist for a moment. And just have a little shake out there. Okay. So when you feel ready to come back into that all fours position, finding the wrists are underneath your shoulders again. Now this time, finding that long spine, as you breathe in, encourage a little bit of a tip forwards with the shoulders, but keeping your pelvis neutral, so you're not dropping into your lower back. Tuck the toes under, exhale, move the pelvis back. So on the breath in, you have this long spine, inching you forwards. On the breath out, try to maintain the length, tucking the toes under, and the pelvis moves back towards your heels. And just explore this little rhythm forwards and backwards a few times. Activating through the feet, get the toes spread. And then this time, as you come back, you just leave your feet in that soft position and stretch your hips towards your heels, just taking them as far as they'll go without causing any pain in your knees or your lower back. So it could be that you're more upright. Just have a little sway. It could be that you're able to snuggle those sit bones in between your heels and your forehead comes down. And if your forehead doesn't comfortably come down to the ground, you might like to support it with a blanket or block underneath your head. When you feel ready to come up, you find that lovely length along the sides of the body there, along the spine, and breathe in. Come back to your starting point. 
exhale during the abdomen in. So we're just gonna play with that again a few more times. You take yourself forwards, you move yourself back. And each time you might find you're going a little bit forwards, perhaps not, there's no rules here. You find those openings and stretches in ways that are comfortable for you. And sensation is useful. We want to encourage sensation, but we don't want pain. So it's just noticing where our edges are and not going into anything that causes any unnecessary discomfort or tension in the body. So as I start to move into this more open shape, my shoulders are away from my ears. I like to encourage a little bit of a wriggle as well. It helps me undo tension. And I'm gonna do one more now where I take my hips back long, 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 long towards the heels and then settling them towards the ground. So at this point, <coughs> if your head isn't comfortably on the ground, then encouraging a blanket for your head to rest onto, it's gonna be really useful. Okay, so let's just look forwards a moment. Keep walking those fingertips away from the ears and when you're ready, breathe in and come back onto all fours. As you exhale, tuck the toes under. Now, as you start to take your hips back, then lift the knees and move your pelvis up towards the sky, keeping your knees pretty bent here. And then with your next in-breath, roll up onto your toes. Knees are still bent. As you exhale, start to work your heels towards the ground, but you can still keep those knees bent. Your tummy and your thighs move towards one another. And the breath in, lifting up. And the breath out, moving into that down dog shape with the heels, but keeping those knees bent. So have a little play, just rolling from the tips of the toes. Perhaps the legs are starting to move into that straighter position, bending the knees, rolling onto the toes, yawning your hips up and back as you take your heels down. When you're ready to come down, on a breath in, the knees come down, extend your chest as you exhale, soften your feet, finding that extended child's position once again. Just settling here for a few moments. You might like to sway softly from one side to the other. And then when you're ready to try that once again, just looking forwards, peeking those hands away. As you breathe in, come on to all fours, tucking the toes under. Exhale, move the hips back first and then lift the knees. So you're calm. it's almost like you're yawning into your down dog. Keeping those knees bent, you're on your toes. Breathing in, as you exhale, lengthen now along the back of your legs towards your heels. Exhale, the breath in, bending the knees onto your toes, tummy and thighs move towards one another. Exhale, heels towards the sky. Not the sky, the ground. <laughs> your tailbone is lifting towards the sky. Okay. When you feel ready to come down, inhale, release the knees to the ground, looking forwards, maybe a little wriggle in your pelvis, and then exhale once more, hands towards the ground, hips towards your heels, maybe softening those elbows more, support your head where you need to, and just settling back down into your child's pose. Let's just try one more version of that. Taking your hands further ahead once more. Obviously you can stay with the previous exploration if you would like to, or you can rest. And then breathing in, coming back onto all fours. So tucking the toes under, exhale, take the hips back and then lift the knees. Find that yawning action moving into your down dog, rolling up onto the knees, breath in, bend the knees, 
exhale take the heels down now you have the option here on your next exhale draw your right knee in towards you so that it's bent and then with your other exhale lifting up through the heel towards the sky keep extending keep lengthening exploring where that takes you lengthen 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 left heel moves towards the ground if that's okay otherwise just keeping it raised the left knee is bent and when you're ready to bring it down bend the knee slowly slowly bring it in towards you and then place the foot on the floor and then when you're ready on the opposite side so exhale draw the knee in slowly slowly and then with your next exhale lift up pressing up through the foot towards the sky so you're opening gradually through that hip might feel different on this side there might be something else that you need to do in order to encourage that length and lift through the foot and when you're ready to bring that back in exhale slowly slowly towards your chest and then the foot comes down relieve yourself from this position now bringing your knees your heels down your knees down oh, and resting into that child's pose position once again settling 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 and just slowly 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 unfurl yourself when you're ready you might like to transition onto your back and just take a few moments to rest from that inquiry making sure that you have cushioning under your head where you need to your arms can be away from your body there could be some little movements that you might like to take here before you settle like swaying your legs from side to side just inviting some gentle rotation across your pelvis and your spine freeing up your neck invite your head to roll the other way you're just taking this at your own pace noticing your breath slowing down coming back to center invite a little shake in your legs shake in your arms <sighs> and then if you'd like to just let your legs stretch out along the ground and take a few moments to settle towards the earth just allow your arms to rest, your shoulders to broaden, your breath to be free, moving up and down your body. Pelvis is heavy, legs are long, feet letting go. The breath in moves up the front of the body to the crown of your head breath out rolls down the back of the body to the tips of your toes and obviously you're welcome to stay here for longer if you would like to otherwise just slowly bringing yourselves upright and taking some time to readjust for your day okay so thank you very much everybody hope you enjoyed the practice do let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe all right take care